You're live. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm Melody Sweets. And welcome to Sweet Spot, baby. Baking up some crazy. Everybody's coming to Sweet Spot at noon. I have a great show for you today. We are making a chocolate, oh, wait, no, raspberry chocolate cookie pie in honor of our very, one of our very special guests. I made it special for, for them. We have a great show. Our special guests are the fabulous Dirty Martini. Woohoo! Woo! And the lovely Miss Hazel Honeysuckle. And of course, we have the beautiful Miss Buttercup Burlesque. Yeah. Come on in. Buttercup is with us every week. She is our resident sous chef, and she is in Sweet Spot episodes one and six, five. five. One and five. We do five this every week, don't we? I don't remember. <laughs> Let's get some music going, shall we? Please welcome the amazing Benny Bonobo. Yeah! I'm very excited. My dogs did not attack Benny today. I was a little worried. All right. Well, hello from oh my Richard gosh. Bruins. Hi, Richard. Thank our you for favorite, being here. Our favorite, our favorite audience member. Our favorite, favorite sweet spot regular. Uh, also, let's give a round of applause for Miss Tickle, who will be reading all of your comments and your most inner desires. So please bring them on. We would like to hear from you. All right, shall we get bacon? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, well, we are going to start with a uh, chocolate ganache. And I am going to take out. So I've prepared a bunch of this ahead of time because we only have an hour and I have a lot of wonderful guests that I want to bring in and I want to have time to talk to them. So I have prepped a very large cookie. It's a raspberry chocolate chip cookie, which I've made in a larger pan and cut out with this six inch baking jammy jam. I'm sure that's the technical term. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the ganache and the walnuts and everything right on top of here. Uh huh. And we have right now our raspberries, frozen raspberries. We are turning that into a puree. So basically, we're just melting them down and smashing them until they get all smooth and delicious. Off. What's that face? You keep, keep, what's that face? Looking about my face today. What's wrong with my face? You keep giving me this look. Is there something wrong with my face? All right. <laughs> it's All right. the glasses. <laughs> it's the glasses. Yeah. All right, so to make a ganache, it sounds very fancy, but all it is really is chocolate and cream, which when I learned that, it was a little disappointing, but then you eat it and you're completely fine. So we are going to add, we have about 100 grams of dark chocolate chips here. We are going to add uh, about half of that amount in heavy cream. And in this case, we did it with coconut milk. Can I get a little? Aw, oh, thank you, Bonobo, for those fancy tunes. Oh, thank you. You guys, I have no idea what I would do for these live streams if Buttercup wasn't here. <laughs> Not really. Every week we are. We are making something delicious, and every week I'm running late and dealing with the doggos. Oh, I didn't in introduce the doggies today. I'll do that in a minute. All right, so we just need to melt that up, get that all delish delosh. I'm going to check on the... I don't think that's your slipper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba, don't eat my slipper. Introducing blue. Introducing blue. <laughs> Introducing blue. Actually, let me, let me do that. Blue, come here, baby. Come on. You want to see him now? Can you see him? I think it's, yeah, it's about it. Yeah. Oh. You see him? Get him, baby. Move him over to the fridge a little bit. We'll Move him. I can't. I gotta wash my hands okay. now. <laughs> you gotta see that face. Hi, Bubba's. Are you a good boy? Thank you. I am so excited. 
Friday is not attacking many people. <laughs> All right. So we are going to get some walnuts chopped up. Hey, Brian Calloway joined us. Oh, I love Brian Calloway. Minnie Melody. <laughs> Lily wants to know who that guy is in the background. Oh my goodness, Lily, Lily, Lily. Hi, my sweet little sweet girl. That is my pal, Benny Bonobo. Will you wave at my niece, Miss Lily? Oh, hi, Lily. I'm so glad you're here. We're making a cookie pie. I wish you were here so you can have some with me. Are you with your daddy right now? All right, so we're just chopping up some walnuts, pretty coarse, to go into our chocolate raspberry ganache. I don't think I mentioned that. I wish I had a live musician in my kitchen all the time, but... They're stored in the fridge, so I often can't hear them. That's a sweet spot reference. <laughs> the Frigidaires, my house bands that live in the refrigerator. Check out season one of Sweet Spot to see and hear all the fabulous music from my boys that are chilling in the fridge. Mr. Benny Bonobo is a... Oh, that's my mom texting me right now. I bet you. Oh no, that's Lynette. Don't text me right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian said yeah. So Lily is with Daddy. And Andrea Anderson said Hi, sorry I'm so. late. I'm glad to join the show. How dare you be late? Oh jeez. Uh, thank you for joining us. Do you want to catch uh, Adria up on what we're doing today? Yep. For all that are just tuning in, we are making a delicious dairy-free chocolate raspberry cookie pie with a coconut mousse. Ooh, girl, she knows exactly. Look at that. Oh, Nancy Pie said sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right, Lynette. There is an episode that you can rewatch that every two seconds the phone is dinging, and it was mom. <laughs> I couldn't find my phone to turn it off. Anyway, all right, so we have our chocolate ganache with cream melted up we are going to throw in not literally we're going to chuck in a tablespoon of powdered raspberries like that and i'm gonna mix it up there we go let's see ask lily hey lily what's your favorite dessert and everybody watching, what is your favorite dessert that you've ever eaten? Because I would like to try and make it. Not that you could eat it, but <laughs> I can make a recipe for you. All right, so we have our raspberry powder, tablespoon, milk, our cream, and chocolate melted, dark chocolate. We're going to add our walnuts right in there. Love me some good chunk of nuts. <laughs> hey, watch my mouth. My niece is watching. All right, here we go. Melody, shall I start straining this? Uh, or keep letting it go? Yeah, you can start straining it. Buttercup is on it. All right, so I have taken this out of the freezer, and it's better to have your uh, dishes cold when you're working with mousse because it helps set everything a little bit quicker. So we are just going to pour all that delish, delosh chocolate right on top of there. Like, that's so beautiful, Benny. <laughs> Woo! Let's hear it for Benny Bonobo, you guys. Yeah! Yeah! Uh -huh. Oh, Blue got excited there. All right, so we are going to smash this ganache. Smash and ganache. Does that rhyme? Okay, so you want to even it out. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but when you take this out of the mold, you'll be able to see all the layers. So I try to make it as, as level as possible. 
And we have some favorite desserts coming in. What are your favorite desserts? So Richard's favorite, Richard Bruin says my favorite dessert is ice cream. Ooh, oh, I've not made so ice cream yet. Yeah. And uh, Dragoa caramel budino with a salted caramel sauce. Ooh, is that? Those are the delicious cookies, right? The budino, budino. And Andrea Anderson says is basic, but I like white chocolate covered strawberries. Yeah, oh, yeah, classic for Valentine's. How was everybody's Valentine's? Oh yeah, tell me what you guys do for Valentine's Day. Any lovers out there? Have any fancy romantic things happen? How about you, Buttercup? What did you do for Valentine's? I um, I had dinner with my son. That's pretty romantic. I had dinner with my daughter and husband. We had uh, sushi. Uh, well, I can better that. I had dinner with my dogs. So yeah, we just had pasta. Happy Valentine's Day to me. Hey, Nancy Pie likes Boston cream donuts. Ooh, that's a good one. Maybe we'll make that. They are delicious. The cream that goes into those donuts is so good. I have oh. no idea what I'm doing right now. So, Dragoa said um, uh, the budino is like a pudding custard with some cookies on the bottom. Really? Wow. Mm. We have to maybe investigate this a little bit. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. What else? All right, get back to work. All right, so Buttercup is straining the raspberries for us, and we are going to weigh out 60 grams of that raspberry puree. Let me find my scale. Excuse me, girl. 60 grams? 60 grams. It's not a lot it's because, not a lot. No. because we're only making a six inch uh, cake today pie. So we have our scale. We're going to tear that up. What was, how do you pronounce that? T-A-R-E. Tare? Tear? Tar? Tear? Tear? Is it? Yeah. This is your educational cooking class that you're teaching me the terminology. All right, we are. It's really not a lot, huh? Is that enough? No, that's fine. That's okay. gonna be enough. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna weigh out. This is I made this last night. If you're wondering, it's a raspberry puree, and you don't need a lot of it. How did you make that? Uh, this was made. Oh, wait, do I want this raspberry puree? I do. Yeah. Uh, it is with. This, that's it, just raspberries. Just raspberries. It's just raspberry just, cooked down? It's just raspberries cooked down, and you want to strain it so that you're taking all the, the seeds so that you don't get that that texture. So Andrea Anderson had her 26th Valentine's Day with the hubby. The oh, Pivinator. congratulations. 26 years. God. I wonder what my birthday is going to be like when I turn 26. <laughs> okay, so we have measured out our... Oh, a little more from Andrea. He was 17 and I was 14, which when they started dating. Is that what this is? What's happening? Okay, okay, okay. You repeat that. She said he was 17 and she was 14 when they started dating. Ooh, you're lucky no one uh, turned you in. Oh my god. For uh, what is that when you're too young? Statutory something. Okay. All right, so we have made our ganache. We are making our mousse and we want to. Oh, you know, I just, maybe I should make some cocktails. Some cocktails. Oh, some cocktails. Yes, please. All right, we're going to just pour us up some cocktails. And it's going to be very simple because we don't have today a penny pours. We want to say hello to our beautiful penny pivots out there. Hi, Penny. Make it today. We miss her dearly. Go. She gets those open. I will grab raspberries. We are going to bring in our special guests in a moment. I think I missed the strawberries. Oh, Richard said, hi, hi Penny, wherever 
Penny. Big shout out to Penny Kibbits. And a little reminder to our lovely audience, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Are we gonna put something in here? We are just gonna put some raspberries in there. Yeah. It's just super easy. And we're gonna pour us a, a few cocktails for myself and for our first and most lovely guest, who was actually our very first live stream guest. So she was here to Go through all the mistakes that we made. And I hear she does enjoy a little tipple. She yes. does enjoy a lot of tipple. I, I, I know that for sure. All right. Nice. Isn't that delish? Oh, wait a minute. Andrea is you replying to a comment. She said, No one is surprised it's legal in is it Kentucky, KY? Kentucky. Yes. Is that for real? Oh my god. Is it really legal? Oh, what is it that off? Pearl, you're in the best spot. Well, we ha we're very happy it, it all worked out for you, Andrea. <laughs> Are you reaching out for help right now? Are you okay? Let us know. Just, just your send coordinates. Me a signal. <laughs> we'll come get you. All right. All right. So, with that, how many is it? <laughs> I think that we should toast our special guest coming in. Yes, let's do it. Do I get one of those? You do, yes, but it, you're not allowed to drink it until we bring out the most oh, okay. fabulous. Put your hands together for the one, the only, the last phenomenon, Miss Dirty Martinez. Las Vegas, and you remember that crazy Jubilee show where they sunk the Titanic with 150 topless new showgirl bluebells, <laughs> and Samson and Delilah. I missed the Samson and Delilah. It was like, go, 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 and I was a bigger earthquake, and everything <laughs> fell into the stage. It was a little kitschy. I enjoy kitschy. I enjoy it. It inspired Dita. 
and it inspired me, and we're so happy to be here to bring those costumes back to life. Oh, it's so good to see those costumes. Oh, Thanks to Caesars oh. Entertainment. Yeah. They ha agreed to let her have free reign of wow. all the props and costumes. So if you're a Jubilee fan, you will um, see all those crazy, uh, they're like little, um, what do you call that? Little Easter eggs in there for you. I'm sorry, there's a funny, there's some <laughs> special guest over there. She's like talking to the wall or something, like she's put herself in timeout. <laughs> but I, can't stop. I can't look over there. Okay, so we are doing this. It is a baking show, so let's do that. So, okay, so we are making a cookie pie dirty. Yeah, cookie pie! Yeah, cookie pie. And so I was going to uh, have you actually do some work here. But, I love to work. But you look too fabulous. So. Oh, well, you, you think these might get in the way? <laughs> I think that those are very safe. Uh, very safe. Nice, safe to my... an open play. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to say... Catherine Delish, who made this robe, knows practicality and glamour together. So look at these sleeves. Amazing. I'm look free to roam around the kitchen. Look, and that is the most versatile. You can wear that outfit anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's good for drinking, too. It, is. <laughs> it looks very drinking. I have a Catherine Delish. Oh. She makes phenomenal, beautiful... Comfort and beauty. Gowns. Oh, I wore a Catherine Delish for the first episode of Sweet Spot. And if this you... is not a paid advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going right okay. here, Dirty. I'll just clean your floor, which is another thing that these Delish ropes can do for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a few leaves of gelatin. Again, the recipe and all of the descriptions and everything will be in the uh, description below the video. So we are just pouring cold water, very cold water on the gelatin leaves to let them Orlando bloom. Mm. Or bloom, if you will. Okay, and while that is blooming, we are going to, I wanna hurry because I wanna bring our next guest in. because she's cute. All right, so the trick too that I've just learned, uh, making a coconut cream mousse is to put your heavy coconut in the fridge overnight. And a big spoon. Put your heavy coconuts okay, put in coconuts the fridge. There for us, <laughs> put your heavy coconuts. Check out those coconuts. Yeah, you can place your coconuts here. I bet what we're gonna do yes, is perfect. whip up those heavy coconuts. Perfect. <laughs> We're gonna whip these. <laughs> so you want to take all that delicious hard coconut cream that has solidified. Put those yeah. coconuts in a bowl, yes. everybody. Right. Get that. Get just put that energy up in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is some delicious organic. Isn't that amazing? Coconut cream. I've got a lovely coconut. Of coconut. Oh, I see the liquid now. Ooh, Ooh, they are they all sitting mm. in a row? <laughs> Nichols over there cracking herself up right now. Mm, oh yeah, that's enough. helping. I think that's gonna make this taste even better. Do you put all the liquid in there? No. So I put just all the, the, the hard stuff, and then. <laughs> You want to just get as much of the, the what would you call that, uh, solidified cream to the top. And then I just kind of put a little splash in to help whip it up a little bit. All right. Go, go, go. That is a great tip. <laughs> Thanks, Dirty. <laughs> and then we're just going to blend it up a little bit. Blend it. Blend it. Blend it. You want to get some air in there. star of stage and screen. Where are you coming from? You, I know you've been traveling. Where have you been? I have so much jet lag right now because I just came from France. Oh, we, amazing. We have right here for less in July again. The stars are 
stars of the film Tournay by Matthew Amarie, which won a can at the festival. That's been going on for a while. Yeah, well, we took a little hiatus, and then we're now we're back together with your friend and mine, the main attraction. So really? oh, that's great. she came with us to Francie Paris. Oh, I miss Maine a lot. Hi, Maine. I know. She misses you guys too. Hi, Maine, Maine. And everybody out in TV land. <laughs> and everyone else that, wait, what was the name of the movie again in case we missed it over the the like movie the, that the Cabaret New Burlesque starred in <laughs> was called Tournée or On Tour yeah. <laughs> yes okay so I put a quarter cup of sugar in there oh, yeah. and helped stabilize it and it tastes we're just getting some air in there, air in there, air in there, air in there. All right. So now we are going to put in our raspberry puree. Ooh, yum. Yum. Very excited about our next guest, you guys. This is a full-on burlesque extravaganza today because we've got Buttercup, we've got Hazel, we've got Dirty, Miss Tickle, and I've been known to do a little burlesque in my time. All right, so we want to fold it in and just kind of try and keep the air in there. It's not as uh, sensitive as regular uh, cream, so you can be a little rougher with it, I think. But, yeah. It likes oh, it. Oh, wait, you know way. what? We didn't put the. Okay. All right, so we made a little boo-boo. You know, it doesn't matter. We're gonna this, is live. Live. this is live, folks. So. So what you what we've missed is to put the gelatin oh. in our puree. It was Orlando blooming. It was Orlando blooming, but that's okay because I've made another cake for us so you can see it in its full force. We'll still make this one and I will still eat it. Okay. Yeah. Would you do the gelatin before or after the sugar and the puree? So you do it in the puree. You heat up the puree and then let it bubble a little. Ah. And then you will put the uh, the leaves of gelatin in and mix it until it melts. It's super easy. Stiffener. Yeah. And then it'll allow it to set so that when you cut into the cake, it will give you a slice. All right. You so know, I'm just noticing that the color of that mix is matching Dirty's glass set. Ooh, it like, is. Can, can I just see that? This is like, Dita Von T's lingerie. You can buy that online. Julie's Roses. Thanks, Dita, for giving me this set. Thanks, Dita. Does she know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Oh, it's Let's get our gorgeous. cookie tray out of the freezer. Uh, raspberry puree, the kind you find in a secondhand store. <laughs> <laughs> raspberry puree. Thank you, Richard, for that. Thank you, Richard. Do you know that one, Nova? Raspberry beret, yeah, raspberry puree. Raspberry puree. Rasp <laughs> <laughs> that that raspberry puree. Um, so we have our frozen delish delage, the cookies on the bottom, ganache and walnuts are on the top. It's ready now, it's not melted. And I am going to start putting this and some raspberries, but first we are going to introduce and bring in our very special guest, all the way from Sesame Street, oh, the phenomenal, the one and only, Blue Cookie Monster! Yeah, you've been doing a, a few years on the strip. You've 
kind of given up on Sesame Street. Uh, on, you've moved. You've moved. Literally moved. Well, I would never give up the cookies, though. Me either. Wait, is that a euphemism? I don't know. Oh. You like the cookies? cookies. What do you got in there? She made her own cookies. I made her a whole cookie pie. I got more room. <laughs> Have more room. <laughs> you guys, Hazel Honeysuckle has a phenomenal book. Is it out yet? Oh, it's out. It's out! So are you, I hear, in that book. Yeah. Hi! Can you tell us about yeah. this amazing book that you look so fabulous in? Boldly stripped. <clears throat> <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's better. Mm -hmm. Boldly Stripped is an 84 page photo comic featuring myself dressed as 14 different aliens from the Star Trek universe. And it's all photographed by Danger. That's okay. That's a hazard, but. Yeah, I watch you, ladies. You gotta take care of your lady friends. That's what happens when you eat all them cookies. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. All right. So I was hoping that you had you had promised that you had a very special secret ingredient to add to our bakes today. <laughs> is it cookies? I think. <laughs> is that? Oh, it is. Yeah. I, I, yeah, you're right. Nice. I warmed it up for you. Thank you. <laughs> right yeah. out of the coconuts. Do you have any any more that are coconut that are yes. as warm? I'm afraid not. No? Do we have coconuts? <laughs> this, I want to just say, is not in the description. Here we go. Okay, we're covering. Cookie surprise. Cookie surprise. Here we go. Oh my god. So, I made a giant cookie on the bottom of this pie for you, okay, Cookie Monster. Here we go. Yeah. Alright, so we want to just level this out. Are you a fan of raspberries, Cookie Monster? I might give this to you because I always give things for Buttercup to lick. <laughs> I already like the spoon. Oh, oh actually, I like the can't help herself. I like the chocolate spoon. And I like the raspberry coconut cream. Delicious. The Cookie Monster. Uh, Richie says she, he loves boldly script. Oh, yes, man. Thank you, Rich. Such Very awesome nice. costumes. Um, I can't read that word, sorry, it's scenes. How was it getting all painted green? I saw that one photo. Oh, so being amazing. painted green was so crazy. It's cool though, right? Uh, well, I got I painted love. green and gray and blue. Blue twice. Hey, where can I get my coffee? <laughs> you can get your copy at boldlystripped.com. Oh, great, I can't wait. Can I get it autographed? You sure can. I don't have it autographed for you. Where no one has stripped before. I mean, that's kind of right, right? Yeah. Well, yes. For me? For you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we have put our moose cake in the freezer to set. You want to let it set overnight, and then you will take it out. Did it even look like that? Play that song, you damn dirty ape. Really fast today. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like when you will release it from the tin. So you can see the layers in there. And it's pretty delicious to wash. I hope it's still not, no, it's not frozen. <laughs> I swear every time we do these live streams, the bake isn't flawed out yet. Oh, so you can let them. Oh, Cookie Monster, what do you think about that? I think it looks good. <laughs> so, we are just going to put a bunch of raspberries on here. You know, if I was blue, I'd sniff all those buttons here. What's happening back there? What's happening? As you do. 
The dogs are always very happy to see. Oh, the dogs. Yes, the dogs. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, is that? I see what's happening. I'm always wondering what's happening when I'm not looking back there. So we're just going to do this, whatever this is called. Spreading it over. Oh, thanks. It's so fresh and new. What oh, behind you? What behind you? Nothing. Go in there. Get some plates. I'll move over to the applause sign. Okay, <laughs> and we'll just kind of pile it on with some delicious raspberries. And. Wow! Okay, now here's a little secret. Did I bring it out here? Oh no, we ate them. You're showing amazing self-control there, Cookie Monster. Beans, you ate the cookies <laughs> that were supposed to go on this. <laughs> it wasn't me. I have, a, I have text proof that you said I could eat them. No, no, no. All right, well, what, what is supposed to happen now? <laughs> we had someone eat some of the decorations. Um, you have crumbled cookies. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe Cookie Monster can help out. <laughs> Here comes Cookies. Come on. If anybody can crumble some cookies. Cool. All right. We'll crumble and she cookies. got mitts too. Go. All right. We'll crumble, crumble. Cookies. Cookies. <laughs> uh -huh. wow. That's beautiful. I'm actually really, I do like <laughs>
beans didn't eat the uh, hey. the crumble cookies, you end up putting the remaining that you cut off into the oven and harden them so that you get the hard cookie crumble on the top. So you get all the different all the you different know what textures. It reminds me of? Is when the Simpsons go down into the earth. And you know they discover things as they go down, like the camera pans down. It looks just like that. It just looks <laughs> Let's hear it for Benny Bonobo. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Benny Bonobo. That, ain't, that damn dirty ape can play anything. Oh, we love no, us no. dirty ape. Yeah. Benny. Oh. Benny. All right, so we're just going to cut some slices for everyone. Now, if you forgot to put your ganache in, like I did, to the other cake, you won't have these slices of mousse. They'll still taste good. It'll just fall all over when you cut it. Got to put that gelatin in there. Don't forget to Orlando bloom it. <laughs> Don't forget to Orlando bloom it. <laughs> the most beautiful Felicity Munson uh, came up with that. Uh -huh. Orlando bloom it. What's Felicity up to this week? You know, probably trouble. <laughs> she might be cutting off another finger or, you know, she she comes unhinged quite easily, that one. She's uh, the Yeah. And, and you, Anais, what's going on with her this week? I mean, you mean uh, Penny Pivot? Penny Pivot. Do -do 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 -do. Whoops. Penny Pivot is uh, visiting family this week. Oh. She'll be back soon. Well, we miss you. We miss you, Penny P. We love you. <laughs> All right, how many slices are, one, two, am I dicing? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven slices, please. Uh, let me get more plates. Ah, there's two plates we one, here. We need one more plate. One, one two, three, four, five, okay. six. Cookie pie, five, cookie five. pie. I'm the count now. <laughs> Seven plates. <laughs> Dirty, what places did you visit in France? Where were you touring? Tell um, us about the show. We just itself. hit the A's. We only hit the A's of France, except for Angai and Laban and Bordeaux area, uh, Marignac, we went to. Uh, we all we hit on the sea, which is the most photographed place in all of Europe. Um, it's near the uh, French Alps. And we went to Antibes in the south. And we went to Aix-en-Provence, which is actually spelled with a name. And that's where I, I got really, really sick with Julia Atlas and Eames. The oh, two no. of us got so sick in X that we missed the whole place. <laughs> oh no! But we didn't miss a show. Because that's show love is. Yeah, the show must go on. I, I mean, I, I got say that with Juliet with Muse on tour one time. Oh I yeah, saw, yeah, Julie and Bunny Love. We all got the swine flu. Oh, oh like, well, good for you. Like, you know, that's that part of amazing. tourism, getting the shits. <laughs> hey, thanks, Skinny. All right, so. I call it the Croat de Provence because Croat is now you say poop in French. <laughs> And on that note, Perfect. let's try this delicious chocolate pie. Guaranteed. Chocolate pie. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today, uh, Unhinged. Get... This live stream uh, series should just be called Burlesque Unhinged. Mm. All right. Baking Unhinged. This looks absolutely no beautiful, and I'm. Did we draw attention to these like little pieces of raspberry in here? It's, it's we really, didn't. Look at that. Like, let's oh. bring it up to the camera. And, and if you have your surprise cookies in there, which I'm gonna delicious, deliciously eat later, you would see little cookies. Yeah, I, like me. I would like the piece that has a little bit of crumble from um, that, that had been previously warmed by Cookie Monster. Is oh, that's that's available? chilling in the. Oh, yeah. I think she's she's previously warmed the oh, cookies okay. on top. Yeah, yeah. And they came from a different place that we couldn't show on screen. Oh, <laughs> so they yeah. taste. We don't want to get canceled. even more like cookies. If Cookie you know Monster what I mean. has a great set of coconuts. Yes. Yeah. Gotta tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to Benny back there with the changes. Benny! Woo! From Richard. He's, he's appreciating you. <laughs> Can you guys see the dogs out on the floor? <laughs> you guys want to be part of the party. All right, we are going to enjoy this. 
Again, the description and the method and ingredients will be in the description below the video to this delicious coconut mousse chocolate chip raspberry cookie pie. I think I've called it numerous different things. I gotta figure it out. Anyway, here we go. Passing it back. Do a little countdown. Make a pie. Oh, is, is. So no play with one hand. Things to do with their hands, so I don't know about all that. Maybe we can feed the bonobo. And um, Bean, did you want to have any? Yeah. Benigno from the Frigidaires is in house as well. I let him out of the fridge for a little while. All right, everybody have forks and, and things? All right, here we go. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I love you. And thank you, everyone, for being here. I love you. Bon appétit! Bon appétit! Hey, go home! I'm gonna put this down because I always make a mess. Mmm! Mmm! Really good. Mm. It really tastes like coconut. Mm. I like the little style, Hazel. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> she goes straight for the cookie. God, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing! Oh, it's a little cold mm. still. I say that every week. Though, What's I that do. walnut in there? <laughs> <laughs> Walnuts, chocolate chips, fresh raspberries. Mm. I see the pink cookie pie. Mm -hmm. It seems to be a thing in this household. The pink, pink cookie pie. Pink cookie pie. Well, yeah, okay. in general. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a thing. <laughs> Not that anyone enjoys it. Okay. <laughs> mm. Well, it's waiting here for mm. anybody who mm. likes a pink cookie pie mm. and knows how to handle it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Just waiting right here mm. for you. Mm. Oh, yeah. So the next, how long do we have? Like 10 minutes is just going to be just us eating, munching on us pie. hoping that I'm making you very jealous at home. Mm. Um, oh, that chocolate. Mm. That's so not good. the cookie crumbles that you ate. I know that now. Can you <laughs> see if anybody's uh, saying hi or, or, over there. Hello, Penny, wherever you are. Richard Bruins. Oh, yeah. Hello, Penny. We miss you. Yeah, hello, Penny. Penny P. Props from uh, Richard Bruins with Benny with the changes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did that. He also says, oh. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> this is my chocolate ganache. Mmm. I love like how chewy the cookie is under here. Mm. The dried raspberry and mm. chocolate is so good. Mm. So good. Mm. It's so good. Oh my god, I'm so glad. Oh, Rich G says, speaking of cookie pie, pie from down under. Hey! hey. Woohoo! I love a good <laughs> double on Sandra mm -hmm. from other countries. Uh -huh, bring it on. Mm. From down under. That's a. Um, what's the show called here that's. Thunder from down under. Thunder from down under. Thunder from down under. Aussie Heat. Oh yeah, there's a lot of naked. Uh, there were two Australian I've heard. I've heard it was there. Oh, funny. The, uh, Rich G says, Sandy Craig says hello. Oh, Sandy. Sandy Craig. Hi. Oh my god, I haven't seen Sandy Crack in... Wow. When was that? Was in 2008. Wait, wait, wait. So who's Sandy Crack? 2008 well, or nine? Put your cards right. Sandy Crack will show you a little Sandy Crack. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'm eating. Mm. Mm. I met Sandy Crack in Australia. <laughs> we were uh, we were performing with the uh, Australian Open. That's how I met Sandy Crack. We went out clubbing. Julie Atlas Muse. Mm -hmm. That's right. Julie Atlas Muse was with us. Daughter. Is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, nice to see. You. Well, I can't see you, but nice to hear from you, Sandy Crack. It's been a long time. <laughs> We're timeless and haven't aged a bit, I bet. Mm. No, I wish you guys could try the butter. And the coconut. Mm -hmm. Teaching young. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a, a is it a vegan dessert or just no milk? It's no milk. Oh, no milk. It's coconut milk. I use. Yeah. Um, Cookie Monster apparently has an aversion to milk. 
Oh. I never knew that all of my years. Oh. And so oh that's, that's why Chrome the That's why she so needs much <laughs> cookie milk, I guess. <laughs> What'd you say? That's why she needs champagne instead of milk to milk the cookies. Exactly. Mm. People don't know, but it goes way better with cookies. Yeah. She that kid just can't put that on the kids' show. But this is this is Cookie Monster out of drag, y'all. This is what Cookie Monster looks like regularly. I bet in France you could have Cookie Monster drinking champagne. They wouldn't mind one bit. <laughs> well, yeah, they start drinking when they're like nine. Which is probably why they don't have as many alcoholics as us. <laughs> well, they just define it differently. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, their definition is a little more lax, I guess. <laughs> a little more accepting. Well, you know, I would say that culture, man. French? French culture? They love to eat. They love to relax. Mm -hmm. Customer service, not such a thing. It's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, I remember that. The good people. The service staff is also very relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> you know, because why would you want to rush around for a tip? That's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> You got your health care, like it, you know? it's all foods are not a lower class like here. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, you know. yeah. it's a different culture. Different <laughs> <Here is now. laughs> Socialism. I've learned that when you go to Paris, if you say that you are American, they will scowl. <laughs> but if you say that you are from Las Vegas, uh -huh. they love it. Oh yeah, it's they'll that? light up like the lights of the New York strip. is okay, maybe New York you'll be okay. Too, New York. Oh, the, and then Vegas, people are like, like, I'm going to New York next week on vacation. That's what they'll say. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's really interesting. It's like they have this, like we have our own ideas about that culture, right? Like they have, I mean, I guess they're kind of right. They're right. <laughs> we don't want to get too political on this show. <laughs> but we're hey, free healthcare. We're <laughs> free healthcare, you know, it, it does something to a person. <laughs> Not ha having retirement at age 62. Free education. <laughs> Free education. Uh, you know, it does something to a person. And like, they makes can smoke whatever relax. they want anywhere. Right? I mean, no, I am, I am, a, I am, of course, biased, but I love me the Italian culture. Mm. I mean, north or south? It's so different. South. I love the South. Yeah. It's funny, my Papa Tony is from Napoli. Mm, my favorite place. And uh, my mother's side is from Calabria, the part that's kicking Sicilia in the ass. Hey. Mm. hey. But my Papa Tony was like, when I was going to Italy for the first time, he goes, Oh, go check out Napoli. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then I get there and it looks like Queens. <laughs> I'm like, what am I supposed to tell my papa? Like, it looks well, is not... that, That's why Queens looks like Queens? Maybe. Perhaps. I'll be Italian that, that went there for sure. Yes. How are you doing, Buttercup? I'm doing good. I'm, you know, in my sugar zone, my Italy <laughs> Friday sugar zone. Sugar. Are you doing Let's any shows coming up? I am doing a show. Why don't you tell us? Oh my gosh, I got a couple of shows coming up, guys. Okay, tomorrow night is oh. Tease at The Space. I'm not performing. I co-produce the event. It's a fundraiser show for the Burlesque Hall of Fame. Um, but we hire lovely local working professionals to do that show. So that's going to be <laughs> at the space. The space Las Vegas tomorrow night. You just made it sound like you hope you hired a bunch of prostitutes. I did. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we hire working professionals well, for our some show. Some of them might be prostitutes. I don't ask what they do. In no, no, I mean, yeah. I was like, it, I it sounded like you were specifically we hiring them. That moving my right Okay. Yes, you know what? Sex workers might be days. in the show. I I don't know. I don't ask everyone's profession. Uh the next come show. Come to the show and find out. Yeah, <laughs> come to the show. Buttercup's doing God's work. <laughs> okay, what's funny is if you drive to this space. It's in like what looks like an abandoned like uh, business park. Like late at night, during the daytime is fine, but like late at night, you're like, no, this isn't the way to go. And then you get there, and it's fine. There's a beautiful theater, and beautiful. your staff is amazing and professional. Working. And professional, <laughs> fucking a. It's like the behind the Hollywood sign back there. <laughs> 
So there you have it, y'all. Wait, no, the next one. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Sinful. Oh. Sinful, yeah. Uh, March 9th at Cat Cat. Yes. Where's Cat Cat? Cat Cat is downtown on North 3rd Street. Cat nice. Cat. That's yes. from the Museum. Yeah. That's and oh, do you know who's going to be in it? This broad. Woo! Hazel Honeysuckle. Oh my gosh. It's a great, it's a great we also photo. have from see? Calgary. Well, yeah. Best in the biz. We have, um, Take a screenshot. Viva Las Vegas of the car show. I'm totally <laughs> fucking up her title. Uh, Mausoleum. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Uh, and we've got a uh, local favorite, Neon and Darby Fox. It's going to be a wonderful show. Darby Fox is in uh, episode one of Sweet Spot, y'all. Yes. Yes. Hazel is in episode five and one. Oh, we're both in those episodes. I forgot about that. She's in a little slice of heaven. If you haven't seen that show, you gotta go and check it out. It is the best show on YouTube. Sweet, Sweet Spot. Spot. Sweet Spot TV it's on so YouTube. Fun. Hey, is Bonobo, uh, Benny Bonobo got anything coming up he wants to talk about? No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Sorry, uh, sorry. That was... Uh, <laughs> oh, Benny. We'll, you know how show Benny, base is. We'll you know, have, like, you back we're, we're like, right, busy, 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 <laughs> and then we're doing nothing. And he's just, just like, in a slump, but he's going to be doing stuff. Just Doodling in a parking lot near yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> I see big things in Benny's future. Big things. Big What's things. happening? Anytime I walk away from the camera, <laughs> I often rewatch it. We later just, we just like oh push her out. Oh, she let us out. Oh, 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 everybody for tuning in today to our live stream. I've been very excited to have all these beautiful ladies joining us, especially today because I've known these girls for a lot longer than I'd like to admit. <laughs> and, um, and they always bring me a lot of happiness. And they are some of the most creative people. I love my burlesquers and you have to come and see all these beautiful people in Las Vegas performing. Aww. Catch them while you can. She's only here for a limited amount of time. Go see Dita's show. Mm -hmm. Buy Hazel's fabulous book. You can yes. see all her blue boobies and all the green deliciousness. Bluebies. Bluebies. <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow night, if you're watching, go check out Tease. Uh, it is the benefit for the Burlesque Hall of Fame, which you should also go check out Burlesque Hall of Fame Museum in Las Vegas. You know, there is so much beauty and talent. I'm starting to cry. Oh my God. Ah. Is the music, the tissue. It's just, it's just the music helps. The music little, helps. What's happening over little, there? <laughs> the music and the vibe. It was just kind of like hug. Oh my God! Thank you. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Group hug. Everyone, this is the love that you should show everyone every day. And we're gonna just end with this. Oh my god, can I we'll sing you out? Can I? So many coconuts. <laughs> Seize the moment, have no regrets. Up the ante and double your bets. Count your blessings, it's time to reflect. This could be as good as it gets. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with us.